So just to uh, let you grin on who is uh, the A and other, and Brian Feeney has gone in at, uh, for Kiltaskins, Brian Feeney has gone into number 13's position, and Finton Cruz, I think, Finton Cruz uh, appears to be on, in the number 10 position. And for the Elfin, for the Elfin side, Shane Tiernan has moved in and he's a lot of switches on the Elfin side at the moment. Shane Tiernan is in the Elfin team, just looking about, finding out who was the other Elfin replacement for that A and other. Ready to start. And the game is on. And straight away it's Brendan Neary. Sends it out to Brian Higgins. <coughs> Brian Higgins sends it to uh, Johnny Kelly. But Ray Lannan comes out with it, battling out, and Ray Lannan gets a free. in that they're very good and, Ray, and Adrian Lannan slips there at a vital moment he gets it he recovers well and it's a chance here for Kildas to open the scoring and Brian Feeney and that's the first score of the game and it's uh, Brian Feeney with the point there for Kildas Gales after just 30 seconds of play Brian Feeney has given Kildas Gales a one point advantage uh, good move there from Ray Lannan in defence up to his brother Adrian and Adrian spotted Brian Feeney and Feeney delivered the point which gives Kildas Gales the lead. So Brian Markham with the kick out. Dermot Neary and Parry News are going up for it. And it comes up. It's fumbled on the ground. Joseph Kelly. Joseph Kelly giving it up to Dermot Washington. Dermot Washington. Another ball into Adrian Lannan. Adrian Lannan drops this one and Adrian Lannan gets a free a free from outside the 45 metre line quickly taken by Adrian Lannan to Thomas Tully Thomas Tully sending it across the field and Brian Feeney once again but this time don't, don't get it and it's uh, Brendan Neary with the ball for Elfin and once again Adrian or Ray Lannan there covering that one and clearing it well out towards Dermot Washington but he fails to make connections and number six for Elfin, Connor Byrne, sends it on towards Brian Higgins. Brian Higgins in towards the, uh, once again, Ray Lannan covering there in defence for Kildas Gales. Sending it out there towards Damien Davis. And Damien Davis back with Damien Davis again. And Elfin goes through in the shape this time of Shane Tiernan. And the ball has gone out and it's gone for 45. So 45 for the Elfin men. Far side of the pitch. Stuart Roddy with this pick quickly taken. And it's chance there for Elfin and it's gone out and it's gone wide. So, the first wide of the afternoon, and it goes to Elfin. So, Sean Davis placing the ball for the kick out. Out towards the middle of the field, Dermot Washington gets his fingertips to it, but it falls to an Elfin man, and this time it's Connor Byrne to uh, Dermot Neary. Dermot Neary sends it in towards Chris Roddy. Chris Roddy and it's uh, gone out over the sideline and it'll be a long ball I think for Kildas Gales. Chris Roddy being closely marked there by Adrian or Ray Lannan. And Dermot Neary. To Brian Higgins and Brian Higgins awarded a free there inside the 45 metre line. A little to the uh, left of the post. So a chance here now for Stuart Roddy to uh, level the game. With all 
Thomas. Foreman is gone in the match. That's a good score and that's the equaliser with four minutes gone. It's uh, Finn one point and Vlas Gales one point. Good place kicking there by uh, Stuart Roddy. Vlas will know that they can't be given away frees. Any, anywhere inside the uh, 45 metre line after uh, that score. Sean Davis comes along now with a kick out. Middle of the field, Parik Nugent battling for it, but it's number nine, it's Dermot Neary. Uh, once again, it's Ray Lannan, who's had a very good start here to this game. Parik Nugent sends it out to his solos the ball. It looked like he should have given it to Jared Nugent, but it's come as far as it's, it's down, and it's once again, it's Dermot Neary with the ball for a fin. Brian Higgins. Stewart ready to score of a Finn's first point. Taking on till Bass the Finn's sends it high and sends it wide. So the second wide there for a Finn. Till Bass doing a little bit of messing at the middle of the park at the moment. Once again, Sean Davis is forced into a kick out. Nugent who puts the fist up, can't get to it. Jared Nugent recovers it. Jared Nugent sends it in towards Adrian Lannan. Adrian Lannan pushed him back and Adrian Lannan given awarded a free. Quickly taken by Adrian Lannan now towards Finton Cruz and back to Adrian Lannan. A good move here for Kildaskill. Dermot Washington has a chance and Dermot Washington kicks it high and Dermot Washington has put that one wide, the first wide of the game for Kildaskill. A chance there for uh, Kildas to go back in front push and the ball has gone wide. So Brian Markham. Placing the ball on the ground. Sun shining into Brian Markham's eyes at the moment. Out towards the middle of the park. Joey Casey boxing it down and is caught there by Fenton Cruz. And Fenton Cruz penalised there for overcarrying the ball. Some of the supporters from Kildas don't agree with the referee's decision on that occasion. As uh, Jerry Gunn sends that one in towards Brian Higgins and Brian Higgins picking that one off the ground quickly taken there by Tommy Deegan and Dermot Washington the captain sends it down to Dre Lannan or Adrian Lannan a great ball a great ball into Adrian Lannan trying to make a bit of room for himself and Adrian Lannan has sent it over the bar but referee has blown the whistle uh, it's a free in for Adrian Lannan well, he had scored the point so it all must be redone again so a chance now maybe for Dermot Washington to uh, Get his name on the score sheet from the 20 meter line. It's a little outside the 20 meter line. In any case, Adrian Lennon has kicked that one over the bar. The referee has uh, set down the score and awarded a free to Kildas Gale. So Dermot Washington. that point so the score I know stands two points to one two points because Vasquez Zembert Washington with the first uh, his first score of the game but good work there from Adrian Lannan who's certainly playing very very well and so is his brother Ray number 17 Shane Tiernan for uh, the Elfin men trying to uh, look for a quick kick out but didn't succeed in and Brian Markham Brian Markham re places the ball good kick out from Brian Markham Parry still there fisting the ball but holding his uh, holding Brendan Neary at the same time 
And Anthony Flaherty awarding the free to El Finn. Middle of the park. Keeps the ball in, and that's a dangerous ball there. Chris Huddy sends it out towards uh, Stuart Huddy and Matty Hines. <coughs> Matthew Hines to Stuart Huddy. Stuart Huddy is broken. It's lost the ball, but it's, it's recovered and it's over the bar. A good score there for El Finn. A good reply from that uh, free from Dermot Washington. Levels the game once again. So with nine minutes gone, almost nine and a half minutes gone, it's Kildaskill's two points, El Finn two points. Sean Davis. Starting the game up once again, Sean Davis comes up with his kick out. Towards the near sideline here, but uh, Joseph Kelly getting to it. Joseph Kelly, Parik Nugent. Parik Nugent sending it in towards Jim Ty. Jim Ty is pulled, it seems to be pulled, but Darren Washington recovers possession. And Darren Washington pulled there. Darren Washington not getting any free. And uh, Finn may come away with it, I don't know. Why Darren Washington got no free there, but uh, Adrian Lannan plowing in after it, and it's got out, and it's very close to the near sideline here. And Tommy Dehan and the ball is out, and it's a line ball for Kildaskis. The ball uh, going off Brian Higgins and uh, Tommy Deaton is waiting here for the uh, resultant line ball. <laughs> Not a very good kick from Tommy Deaton and it comes towards Martin Travers who clears it out the field. <laughs> Brian Higgins sending the ball in, Amy Davis missing it. And a chance there for uh, Stuart Roddy. Pretty a Finn, but he sends it very, very wide. But that a chance there for Stuart Roddy to give Elfin the lead for the first time in the game. But it has gone very much to the left of the post and wide. <laughs> Neither side seem to have settled in to their uh, potential at the moment. Pass is going astray and... Davis kick out towards a lovely fist on flick on there from Parik Nugent and it comes as far as uh, German, as uh, Joey Casey Joey Casey to Adrian Lannan and Adrian Lannan to once again Brian Feeney Adrian Lannan has it and Brian Feeney a chance here for Brian Feeney and Brian Feeney has shinted wide it's gone out for a 45 a great save there by Brian Markham a great save from Brian Markham it's gone out for a 45 but that was a real chance there for Kildas Gales. And uh, one of the best passing movements in the match so far. Park Nugent flicking the ball on. It came as far as Joey Casey. He sent the ball down in towards uh, Ray Adrian Lannan, who in turn sent it into um, Brian Feeney. And Feeney was denied by the uh, brilliant save of Brian Markham in the Elfin goals. So Tommy Dehan with the 45. towards Adrian Lanna once again Adrian Lanna pulled Adrian Lanna sends it back out towards Thomas Tully Thomas Tully over his head and that one looks as if it's going to go off to the right there and it's gone wide and the chance there for Kildas Games but ball tailing off to the right that time and went wide and Quinn Markham places the ball to kick out towards the middle of the field. Uh, once again, that's Joey Casey. Oh. And Joey Casey sends it to Brian Feeney as well, taken there. Sends it over the man. That's a great score there from... A great score there from Jim Ty. Who oh, roamed across the far side of the pitch and sent it over with the right foot. And Jim Ty has looked at his back in front. Three points to two. Kildaskia is beginning to show a little bit of uh, the spirit that they did against Boyle in the last couple of moments. Brian Morton kicks the ball out. Park Nugent is up and Park Nugent grabs it, hold of it. And Park 
Jones and wins a free there as Daniel Hoshman takes it in very, very quickly in towards Jim Ty once again, who was once again moved across the far side of the field. Jim Ty's kick has passed, went straight there, and uh, the Alfinan come away with it. And Damien Davis. Ray Lannan gets it, clears it. Push in the back there, and Dermot Washington gets a free. So free for Kildaskills. Anthony Flaherty wanting the ball to be taken, the kick to be taken from where the free was given. Parik Nugent kicks it out of his hands down towards the uh, goal mouth. It's fisted on Jim Ty, a chance no, it's back to us. It's uh, Connor Burden for El uh, Finn. Sends it as far as Dermot Neary. Dermot Neary comes away with it. Dermot Neary sends it out towards Brian Higgins. Brian Higgins, toe to hand, hops the ball, and Brian closely marked there by a couple of the killed glass players. And it sends it across the field towards Brendan Costello. And Brendan Costello been pushed there by Dermot Washington, and he's awarded the free kick. It's Brian Higgins who takes the kick, goes across with a badly directed kick, and it's taken there by Joey Casey, who's pulled and referee beginning to. Uh, let a few uh, swipes go here. He's going to have to have a word this time with uh, Brian Higgins. So Ray Lannan prepares to take the kick and gets good distance into it. And it's a free in for Kildas Gales and a chance here now for the Kildas men to uh, extend their lead a little further. It's on the far side of the field. May suit a left footer kicker with Dermot Washington. He's going to have a pot at it. Dermot places the ball on the ground outside the 20 metre line, up a couple of yards outside the 20 metre line. That's uh, the best of positions for a right footer kicker, but Dermot can swing them over from any type of angle. Let's hope for his last games he can do it. is very good and it's gone over the bar and uh, Dermot Washington extending Kilvaskill's leads down to two points so it's four points to Kilvaskill's two for uh, Elfin Dermot Washington with the second point of the game and Brian Markham facing the ball on the 20 metre line for the kick out side of the field, Parik Nugent going up with the fist and Parik Nugent gets it down to, directly down to Thomas Tully. Thomas Tully gets the ball in and Adrian Landon comes running across for it. Adrian very close to the, in the far, the near in line but uh, sends it in, there's nobody in there. Uh, Luke McLaughlin for Elfin clears it out as far as Connor Burden, the centre half back. He's been uh, marked there, very closely marked there as uh, Martin Travers gets it for Elfin. Elfin manoeuvring it out of the defence and Connor Burden once again. Connor Verdon clears the ball and it's gone as far as uh, Brian Higgins but Jared Nugent, well won there by Jared Nugent but uh, it's came back as far as Jerry Gunn Jerry Gunn sends it into Stuart Roddy Stuart Roddy the danger man on the Alfin side sends a ball across, very dangerous ball across to Shane Tiernan and Shane Tiernan takes it harmlessly out over this end line and it's gone white so danger averted there for the last games Eighteen and a half minutes gone in the first half. John Davis going back to kick out. Parik Nugent goes up for it, gets it, doesn't get it, but Joseph Kelly recovers it. Joseph Kelly sends it across the field, Jared Nugent running after it. Two kills last players clashing there. Two kills last players clashing there very, very badly. Uh, and the ball bounces over the line, and it's a sideline ball. It's quickly taken by uh, Stuart Roddy. Stuart Roddy 
to Matthew Hines. Matthew Hines is well blocked down Gerard Newton and gets his fist to it there uh, from Brian Higgins. The ball is handed back in and that's gone out to the uh, left again and wide. And that's about the uh, fifth Elfin wide of the afternoon. With all 20 minutes gone, four points to two. Depending on the fist today, Parik. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. But chance here now. It's in danger here for the last, and it's a free in, a free in there. And Stuart Roddy, Stuart Roddy having a splendid game in there in the uh, Alfin attack. Involved in anything that happens in the Alfin forward line at the moment. Matthew Hines puts that one over the bar and narrows the gap to just one point. Neither side getting a grip on proceedings here at the moment. A sweeping wind going across the pitch may well suit Kilglass in the first half. But uh, I can tell you that it's blowing more directly across the field. This one up and once again, Parik Nugent pushed in the back there and gets, gets nothing out of it though. And number 15, John Kelly. So this Stuart Roddy to come out to take this one. Has put a point over from this uh, distance before, but it was at the other angle. So Stuart Roddy now to level batters up here in Kilmore. Badly taken this one, but it comes all right out towards, uh, and it's a chant and it's gone. It's gone out and it's going to be a 45. Most of the uh, fingertip got to it there from one of the last players. About eight minutes to go to the half-time break. Four points to three, and once again Stuart Roddy attempts to uh, level the game from the 45-meter line. Post and it's dangerous. It's <coughs> and it uh, comes out towards Dermot Neary, and Dermot Neary makes the best out of the situation, gets the point, but it could have easily been a goal there. Killed last skills. Uh, and the ball came off the bar, wasn't quick enough to, or alert enough to uh, respond, and the Alfin men could have really got in there for a goal, but they have leveled the game with points from Dermot Neary. Davis with his fourth kick out from the 20 meter line. Mary and Landon have moved to midfield at the moment as the ball comes out towards the near sideline. Joseph Kelly for Kilbaskias goes up, doesn't get to it though, and is caught there by Brendan Costello. Brendan Costello fisting it across to the field there towards uh, Joe Cork, who's moved up the field from the full back position, sends it back into his Brendan Costello, a bit of bite on the Elfin uh, side at the moment. And it's once again Joe Cork. Elfin moving in holes, we're getting very low place, but and Jared Newton there to work. break it down towards Ray, Ray Lannan. And uh, the ball goes across the far sideline. And taking possession over there for Kilpass Yales. Is a clever Fenton Cruz. Fenton Cruz going back in again. Knocked, and that time it's Jerry Gunn who was knocked to the ground, and it'll be a free in for Elfin. So, if 
Finn seem to have taken control of the game in the last five or six minutes. So Matthew Hines, chance now to put El Finn in front for the first time. Very close to the far side and on the 20 meter line. That's kick going in. All right, Nugent fisted out, dangerous. And it's fisted wide and that's gone wide. So Kilvass getting off the hook there, but... Uh, haven't been playing well at all in the last few minutes, Kilvass. But Finn has stepped up a gear. half minutes to half time. <laughs> and once again it's Elfin that's on the attack. This time it's uh, John Kelly. John Kelly's kick goes very high and it's Jared Nugent and uh, Matthew Hines a chance and Matthew Hines has sent wide and Elfin are certainly kicking the game away in this first half. There's seven wides at the moment, so as Finn having plenty of chances to uh, go well and truly on top here, but uh, sides remain level because of wayward shooting from the Elfin attack. Sean Davis, the busier now of the two goalkeepers from the picking up point of view. Joe Kelly pushed. And once again, it's Brendan Neary. Brendan Neary's ball, that was in. Oh, that's a dangerous one. And this time, Stuart Roddy. Stuart Roddy, Matthew Hines. And Matthew Hines has got what Elfin deserves. Exactly what Elfin deserves. A goal for Matthew Hines. Kill Glasgow's have been laboring all through the uh, last seven or eight minutes. And Matthew Hines has given Elfin a three-point advantage. The first time Elfin have went in front. And with the vote three minutes to half time and Finn lead one four to four points but no more than Elfin deserve for all the pressure they've put on because that's not making any progress at all at the middle of the park and Thomas Diffley is introduced to the Kildas Gales team Jay Murphy making way for Thomas looks to me that it's middle of the field problems Gilvas have at the moment but selectors and management suggesting that it's, uh, it's in the defence that the problems are this time it's Elfin again at the middle of the field number 17 for Elfin Shane Tiernan Joseph Kelly loses the ball everything going wrong for Gilvas at the moment Thomas Tully gives it up towards Adrian Lannan Adrian Lannan sends it in towards Dermot Washington Dermot Washington can't make it and it's Joe Cook who clears it out the field. Towards Brian Higgins. And um, Shane Tiernan. And he's taken out there by the substitute. And it's a free down for the Everett Washington Kilpass beginning to uh, show a little bit of. Kilpass showing a little bit more of what they are capable of now. But uh, went to sleep, so to speak, for 10 minutes there, which allowed Elfin to get a goal on two points without any response from Kilpat is. Alright, do you full forward? It's blocked. Nobody sees so what's going on down there with the Kilvas team. And that one seems to be picked off the ground for Elfin, but number five Brendan Costello is coming away with it. Elfin certainly the better team at the moment. Connor Burden kicking the ball down the field. Kilvas Gales have the hard work done on the beat boy. But they certainly are out of this game here at the moment. Two minutes to the halftime break and I'm sure Jimmy Eckman will have a lot to say when he gets his troops inside that dressing room. They're not playing to, to their full potential whatsoever. Ray Lannan's kick. Even that doesn't go right this time. Nothing going right for Kilvass at the moment. And that's a free in and free in there from where the ball landed. So Kilvass further behind I would think because Stuart Roddy about 35 metres out but Elfin winning everything at midfield and around that area but 
doors right here. Kicks it. In and kicks it over the bar. And the Finn crowd are beginning to like what they're seeing down here now. They're leading by four points and certainly they deserve their uh, four point advantage. And maybe for a bit of where we're kicking, there could be, this game could be almost out of sight at the moment. Kildas haven't got an attack together throughout this uh, second quarter of the match. So this... Ray Lannan goes up, fisted back down, comes as far as Thomas Tully. Thomas Tully gets a free in to Dermot Washington. Dermot Washington throw it a hand there, Washington kicks it in We're taken down well there by uh, Brian Morecambe, the Elfin goalkeeper and cleared away and it's Joey Casey now for Kildaskill driving, getting the ball in he's uh, marked there by two Elfin men, gives it back out to Jim Ty who helps him out and Joey very close to the sideline sends it across the field to Dermot Washington Dermot Washington sends it into Ray Adrian Lannan, Adrian Lannan goes through sends it to oh, mistake there by Brian Feeney there was a chance there for Kildas to get something out of that attack, Brian Feeney not coping at all with it as the ball is blocked down this time by Jared Nugent who's having a good game for Kildas gets into Parik Nugent, Parik Nugent goes to, pops the ball, takes a shot a chance and it's wide, it's wide Parik Nugent, I mean that one wide and that is the half time uh, whistle the first half in which Kildas Gales did start off uh, very promising, they went four points to two in front, but for the last 15 minutes it was all Elfin and the goal, the goal was um, certainly the, the score that um, put daylight between the sides and uh, when Jimmy Gatlin gets Kildas into the dressing room at the moment I'm sure he'll have something uh, to say to, to, to uh, some of the players that who, who are not performing to the uh, level that they are expected so let's hope the second half brings uh, a little bit of uh, Kilt Glass magic back because so far it has been absent. We'll be back with the second half when it is about to start. break there, uh, two Hungarians who have joined the workforce in the Ruski meat plant uh, got a tremendous applause from the uh, from the large crowd that has assembled here in Kilmore Park. Two Hungarian uh, worker nationals went out and got their photograph taken with the county board officials and I'm sure they will cherish that when they're sent back to uh, hung Hungary in uh, sometime around the Christmas, maybe in the new year. As Anthony Flaherty stands on the uh, ball for the start of the second half, we can also tell you that Tommy Dehan has gone off the Kildas Gales team. Uh, just to see who has replaced Tommy is uh, Joey Casey has gone centre-half back, and uh, Thomas Diffley and Joseph Kelly are still there. Ray Lannan, Adrian Lannan is out at the, um, the middle of the park for the second half, and the new man in the Kildas Gale team is Trevor McDonough. And Parik goes into work. Parik was not awarding the award of the free there. It's a free for a thing. Early in the second half. Quickly taken in there for the Elfin and down towards and Raymond Landon grabbing hold of that one. Getting an extra few yards, Raymond Lannan. Ball down towards Jim Ty. Well taken by Jim Ty. Closely marked in by Martin Travers. He sends it out towards Trevor McDonough. 
McDonough's ball has gone into his cousin Thomas Tully. Thomas Tully sends it across to uh, Dermot Washington. Dermot Washington goes through, and Dermot Washington taking down, and no need for that, and the referee doesn't uh, get some of the Elfin win for that one. He goes for the name of Connor Byrne, and I think that will be a yellow card. So yellow card there for uh, Connor Byrne, the Elfin centre centre back. Dermot Washington with a chance now to uh, recover some lost ground there of the Kildas team. Dermot's kick is good, and Dermot's kick is over the bar. So the gap to just three points <coughs> by Morecambe having made that great save in the first half the nine kill Vasquez a certain goal he's about to take this kick out it's the far side of the field it's Good distance, almost to the, uh, and it's a it's a line ball for the Kildasman. Parik Nugent looks for options. Parik Nugent and once again another free in there for Kildas Gales about uh, on the 45 meter line. Ray Lannan, Adrian Lannan, quickly takes it in towards. Thomas Tully, who's who's back from where the where the further back than where the free was taken from, and Thomas Tully penalised, and I think rightly so. There it was a a bad free and a bad delivery and bad catch, and everything that went about that uh, Kildas move was all wrong. Kildas not showing the uh, same shape at all as it did when they played against Boy, and the discipline has even gone out of them at the moment. They have, surrendered 20 metres there and the ball goes very very close in towards the but the Kildas goalkeeper Sean Davis has it clears it out the field towards the uh, Fenton Cruz Fenton Cruz to Adrian Lannan Adrian Lannan to Parik Nugent Parik Nugent Saul is a ball Parik coming away with it now still Parik Nugent with the ball clears it across this side of the field Jared Nugent gets to it Jared Nugent puts it in towards and now the chance is the opening here and that's an awful bad pass there from Thomas Tully a dreadful pass it did cause it Dermot Washington but there was a certain chance there of a goal but for a disastrous pass diabolical pass because that was a chance there for uh, Kildas to get something in the shape of a goal maybe it's okay from where we're standing here but the uh, breeze today is certainly very very strong and it probably did take that uh, ball away but Denver Washington with the chance now to uh, narrow the gap to just two points Brendan Costello seems to be in a little bit of trouble there for D.L. Finman Receiving a bit of attention. As Derek Washington prepares for the referee's whistle. A little bit of time wasting here from the Alfin mentors and their players, but uh, ready to go again now. And another point for Dermot Washington. Dermot having scored four of Kildaski and six points at the moment. So now just two between them. Five minutes into the second half. Kildas playing a little bit better in the second half, but that's a quick kick out there for the uh, Elfin Mill. Jared Nugent blocks it down for good game. Jared Nugent having a good game here today. And Ray Lan Adrian Lannan is getting 
Here they're not getting an awful lot of abuse. Jim Ty. Thomas Tully. Thomas Tully hops the ball. Not an ideal situation, Thomas. Sends it across to Dermot Washington. Dermot Washington goes through. Dermot takes the kick and Dermot sends it over the bar. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's over the bar. It's over the bar. A great score there for Dermot Washington. And now there's just a point between them. So Kilnass coming back the hard way with points. Not going to goals or anything. But a great score there for Dermot Washington. Easily Kilnass scales best player this afternoon. So now Brian Morecambe. Delays a little bit of time. The Finn playing the tactics in this game as Mike Handley comes into the game and uh, going off is Fenton Cruz. Mike Handley on for Kildas Gales and going off there is Fenton Cruz. So Kildas with their third substitute made. Joey Casey fisting and it comes again to Dermot Washington. What a game Dermot Washington is having. Still Dermot Washington. Lovely ball in there to Nile Handley. Oh, Nile Handley loses it. He's just gone a few moments and Nile Handley didn't get the warm what probably he should have got. But it was a chance there for Kildas to probably get the equaliser as Matthew Hines for a thin sends it down dangerously in towards uh, Stuart Roddy. Stuart Roddy, the danger man as we said earlier on. And Stuart Roddy this time has sent it wide. Maybe if Stuart was more accurate, if Stuart was more accurate, uh, he'd certainly be the uh, star of the show here this afternoon. But as we speak, despite Kildas Gales being a point behind in the rears, the um, man that stands out at the moment is Dermot Washington. Having a wonderful game here this afternoon. And Sean Davis. Porrick Nugent. Once again, Porrick fisted back. Not the ideal thing, Porrick. And it comes as 